guess that's one way to get her off. guys so we got the old Articat links fixed up and running she's listed in the classifieds for sale so now it's time to start getting work on the new guy so let me give you a close-up look here of what I got this is a 2000 Articat ZL580 okay so to start here I think I'm gonna gonna go ahead and take the hood clear off she's in pretty good overall shape the seats a little bit ripped here I should just unplug. yeah shoulda coulda but not gonna wanna right, we got a couple small cracks here in the plastic and a crack here in the windscreen. Of course, she's missing her mirrors. Mechanic's best friend, PB Blacker. Especially on older stuff. Especially on older stuff that's used in winter. When it's wet and rusty. And one thing I have to make sure to replace is where the hinge, or where the hood actually is hinged and holds on. That plastic is broke too. So I could imagine that this might have a chance of falling off. I mean, it's on there pretty good, but I'm still gonna replace this. Just just one piece right here you can get for, I think it was 12, well, it might have been around 20 bucks I saw online for just this piece, so that, that'll be an easy fix. Probably take the muffler out of here, some room. Yeah, they stick one, of course, on the bottom where you can't get at it. That's loose. That is off. That is loose. Yep. There's our expansion chamber. That gave us a little more room to work. And the battery tray is just kind of loose in here. It's not actually bolted fast, so I'm going to try to get that pried out of there. Here's our battery box, minus the battery. I'm gonna go ahead and unbolt the starter relay off of here so I can get it out of the way without having to unhook everything. There's the battery box out of the way. I'll make sure to actually bolt this back on where it's supposed to be bolted on when I go to put it back on when we're done. We even hook a battery back up to this guy. Went online and got the service manual so I can at least look and see how everything is supposed to be hooked up. So, I'll probably get the electric start portion on this and want we'll to use the pull cord. This one's less and wires. Right here as best as we can. Oh, it has a plug right here for like a helmet heater, I guess. That's cool. But I don't need that at the moment. So, I'm going to hook it. Yellow is on the right, so let me forget that. Shift lever, so it's out of the way. I always like to take the time too, whenever I unbolt something or unhook something, to when I get it out of the way to put the pin or the bolt back in it, just so I keep track of it and I don't lose any parts. That's an Allen head. What do you bet? It's gonna strip out on me when I try to take it out. Cross your fingers. Oh, she's coming. Well, thankfully, this must have had worked on it before. If I've ever worked on it last, use NICs. That's why it came apart so easily. Oh, 
feel cold in the old hillbilly garage just today. Man, I gotta see if I can get this one bolt out. Apparently this chain case has been worked on before because I can see remnants here of the outside of gasket maker being squeezed out. Now, nothing wrong with that, and I'll probably use that when I put this back on. The bad thing is, is the one bottom bolt down there I have left to take out to get this off, it apparently is glued in place clear around it with the gasket maker to the point where I can't get the socket on there, so I'm going to have to take a knife or something and dig out around and see if I can't get in there good enough with the socket to get that bolt out. So one thing holding me up here is taking this off. Where's my light? I need my light. There's my wrench. There's my light. Wish this was a separate panel right here you could take off. It'd be so much easier. Oh, I got it. I think. All right, fella. Now we'll be able to get take a look in there and see what's going on with the guy. That just kind of made my day. All right, guys. So as you can see, I got everything tore down out of here. I got all my gears out of here. They're laid down here. There's my chain. The nice thing is the chain's in good shape. These gears are in good shape. And once I got all that stuff tore off, I found what my problem was. Yeah, you guys can probably see how this is right here. That's not supposed to be like that. That's supposed to be like this one here that is intact and has a spring that keeps these pins where they're supposed to be. But what happened was, is this is part of the reverse gear here, these two guys. And they go on the shaft down here. And what happened was, by the looks of it, this guy here where this has been all trashed hit off of these bolts right here which in turn was what was causing the awful racket so luckily nothing else is damaged I already looked up the parts I'm gonna need and I'm gonna be able to get this guy running drum roll please for only 27 bucks so aside from the time it's taken me to tear this guy down I can live with 27 bucks. So I'm going to get parts ordered as soon as next payday comes around. I'm going to have to order this spring retainer here. Uh, I found the one spring still in there. This one's in good shape, but the spring's coming through. So I'm going to go ahead and replace all three springs. And I am going to get the little alignment pin here that goes with these gear, with the, these, uh, with the idler gear and the reverse gear because it is gone and once those get here i'll be able to reinstall everything fill her up with some fresh chain oil and we'll be able to rip around in the snow hopefully we'll have a little bit more by then if not we got enough now but anyway so you guys let me know in the comments below if you're looking forward to more snowmobile videos i would like to get the electric start working on this guy too but that's not a necessity the pull cord works fine and i can use the exercise anyway i'm looking forward to seeing what this snowmobile can do so until then guys, keep on riding.